Hello everybody and Kung Hei Fat Choi to anyone celebrating the Lunar New Year. I am going to be exploring my ethnic heritage. So as far as me and my family know, I am a 50-50 ethnic split of white British and ethnic Chinese. And I say ethnic Chinese because if you look at my genetic structure it is the same as someone from mainland China, but culturally I am not Chinese. You may have noticed from the choice of attire. My family hail from Hong Kong. There are plenty of areas in East Asia where there are ethnic Chinese people, but they maybe won't identify as Chinese, like myself, I identify as a Hong Konger, or I'm Hong Kongish. Hong Kongish sounds like you're sort of from Hong Kong, which actually sums me up. So, you know, I'm Hong Kongish. 50-50% split, perfect. Two cultures being brought together in perfect harmony. That's me. <laughs> Which is also why I look so weird. People look at me and they're like, where are you from? I've had all sorts of guesses. Some people have thought I'm Mexican. Some people have thought French. Some people have said Japanese. I get it, I'm difficult to place. I am a little strange looking. I'm like not pale, but not tanned. I'm not particularly tall, but I'm not particularly short. Uh, I, I am difficult to place. I've got quite dark features, dark eyes. The only person that I've seen that looks a bit like me is One Punch Man, the manga. The only time I've been like, yeah, actually I do, is when someone compared me to One Punch Man. <laughs> and it's not real. I went to Ancestry DNA, not a sponsor, but if you want to sponsor me Ancestry, I'm very poor, uh, so you can. Uh, I say that I'm very poor, I paid quite a lot to do this test for this little box. Um, when I tell people how much I paid, they think I'm an idiot. Uh, it was quite expensive uh, for this little box. <laughs> this cost me £90. And I know, I know it's a lot of money, but this is something that you're only going to pay once. And once you've paid it, you kind of got that knowledge forever. And no one in my family had ever done any of these. So all I kind of knew from my ethnic makeup was word of mouth. And we also had this rumor in my family. One of my great, great grandfathers or great, great, great grandfathers went to war in India. Colonization. Uh, and came back with an Indian woman. That I don't know where this came from. I'm still trying to justify the cost to myself. It's so expensive. This is the packaging that my uh, spit tube came in. I don't think that's the scientific term. But it, there's a little container that you get that you uh, spit into, uh, fill it with saliva. You actually need quite a lot and then you ship it off to Ancestry DNA. Waited for quite a while. I think it was nearly two months for them to process my DNA. And then they sent me an email. My ethnicity estimate was 44% China, 42% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. So that's kind of expected. I was like, yeah, majority of me is ethnic Chinese and British. And then also 6% Southeast Asia, Dai, 5% Swedish, 3% no way! <laughs> so, after I got this, I was like, 8% Scandinavian? <laughs> Me? Have you seen how tall I am? Have you seen the colour of my skin? This lighting is great, so I look pale, but I'm tanned and quite short. There is no way that I'm 8% Swedish. But then I thought, historically, there were lots of Viking invaders landing in the north. It's not possible to sail a boat over from Norway and, you know, have it on with a British person hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But 8% is quite a lot, so I, was, I started to have my doubts, I was like, is this thing correct? But it has this social media element to it as well, it has like a Facebook type thing to it where it shows you profiles of people with DNA matches to you and there were people on there that matched my DNA that had my grandmother's maiden name, which I didn't input into any of the forms or any of the data that I sent off. So I had every faith that it was right, but I still was, I mean, I was overjoyed because I love Scandinavia. Great, maybe this explains 
why I feel so at home in Scandinavia and in Sweden, in the forest. I was like, ah, I'm at home there. I didn't expect to get into like cosmic findings and I, I, I didn't do this for any reason of like, I wanna find myself and I wanna know more about my identity. You know, at the end of the day, you are who you are and whatever happened a few hundred years ago, is not gonna have a great impact on me now. I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm 8% I'm Scandinavian, this has changed my whole life. And then the other bit, Southeast Asia, I was like, that's not a huge surprise, you know. The Chinese empire, it has expanded and shrunk and people have moved around all over the place, but that's not the end of the story. Uh -uh -uh. About five months later, I got an email from Ancestry. We've made some improvements. The next time you look at your results, you're going to see some significant changes that might surprise you. And surprise, surprise, I'm not Swedish. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I was right. My new and more redefined ethnicity estimate, 48% England, Wales, and Northwest Europe. And in my new estimate, they can now narrow it down to the part, the very region of England that my DNA comes from. And it is East Midlands and the Potteries, which is exactly where my family are now, exactly where I am right now. My family on the British side has not moved <laughs> since time began. We are still in East Midlands. So that made me laugh because the British side of my family they are creatures of habit, so I'm not surprised that they have never moved anywhere. And my next largest percentage was 41% China, which includes Hong Kong, so again, not surprised. And then a new entry, 8% Vietnam. Not a massive surprise. Go from Vietnam to China, not a huge leap, not massively surprised that I've got Vietnamese blood. That's not like a big revelation, like, oh my God, I found out who I am. But you know what is? 2% Baltic? <laughs> what? But it says primarily located in Latvia and Lithuania. I knew it. I knew it all along. This answers so much. All those trips, all those trips to Rimi, all those garlic baguettes enjoyed on the streets of Kaunas. I knew it. I'm just so... Lithuanian. But it also circles Estonia, Belarus, Ukraine. But I like to think it's Lithuania because of the memes. If you have never watched any of my videos before, although most of my viewers do now come from Lithuania, I've looked at the stats. I make travel vlogs and I've made a few in Lithuania that have done considerably better in views than anywhere else I've ever been. Sure, went to the pyramids in Cairo, explored some tombs that were off the beaten path. Fine, okay, absolutely fine. Sure, went to Palestine, crossed the wall between Israel and Palestine, one of the most fascinating borders in the world. No one cares, didn't get any views. Okay, hardest hike in Poland during an unexpected snowstorm and still survived on my own. Hiked for 20 hours flat out, didn't get any views. But went to a supermarket in Vilnius. Rimi Hypermarket, <laughs> my favorite shop. I've only been here a day, I already love it. Hundreds of thousands of views. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. So it's kind of fun, it's kind of nice that I am possibly a bit Lithuanian, 2%, and then 1% Dai, and Dai again is another kind of region in Southeast Asia, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, a little bit of um, Malaysia. It's only 1%, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. So that is my DNA results broken down and very unexpectedly, Lithuanian? You won't believe how Lithuanian I am. This just explains so much about my ancestry and my personality. I completely found myself thanks to AncestryDNA.com, who initially told me I was 8% Swedish. So thanks for watching this video. Have a good Lunar New Year. I might make some new videos soon. I don't know. I, I, I just take it as it comes. Probably why I've not got a very successful YouTube channel, because I don't have a structure or a plan. I just do what I want, when I want. This needs oiling. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, free Hong Kong. Give the protesters what they want. Democracy for the fatherland. 
Thanks for watching, this has been my ethnic breakdown, and I'll see you soon, maybe in another video. Bye! Yeah.